Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also, let's not forget about their new live-action and animated Star Wars TV shows to arrive on Disney+, Plus, as well as their new Star Wars trilogy of movies, also known as the fourth Star Wars trilogy and other spin-off films out there. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that they are now going in a more positive direction given that Kathleen Kennedy has little to no creative control over this new Star Wars universe. After all, we got George Lucas, Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni all working together as a team to deliver as much authentic Star Wars material as possible to really make the fans satisfied. You know, that's their main goal right now, is that they really want to regain the lost fans, the fans that walked away from the films The Last Jedi and even especially The Rise of Skywalker. You know, after the Skywalker saga was over, a lot of fans left in droves, leaving Disney and Lucasfilm very worried about the future of Star Wars, and that's exactly why they are doubling down on really bringing back a lot of Star Wars legends and bringing back tons of familiar faces like Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ahsoka Tano, all these fan favorite characters out there. Now, when we look at everything related to Kathleen Kennedy, Leslie Headland, and how they're working on this new Star Wars TV series, one thing in particular that a lot of fans do not agree with when it comes to that TV show is how they are focusing on agendas over story. You know, we're talking about the overall plot and the overall use of character development. They're more really worried about how they're going to actually distribute their agenda into these new Star Wars TV shows. Now, specifically this one, for example, that's going to include actress Brie Larson. Now, with, I, with, of course, Disney and Lucasfilm focused on over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects, they are now currently invested with the development of shows on Disney+, Plus, as well as a series of new films to arrive in the next couple of years. It's explained that currently both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are developing multiple plans in order to reunite the fans around the world. However, it's explained that behind the scenes, actress Brie Larson is very busy with the development of the new Star Wars TV series by Leslie Headland that is set to introduce a brand new era to Star Wars fans. Now, it's noted that Brie Larson's character, who is dubbed as Maeve, is said to have a major scene in the upcoming film in which she will go into the worlds between worlds, which is essentially time travel, and is going to change certain aspects of the past of the Star Wars universe and the entire franchise, and that this will play a major role in the new Star Wars TV series for Disney+. Now, the Worlds Between Worlds segment in the new series is set to be done by Leslie Headland and a brand new co-writer that is set to join the project in the near future. So in case you guys are out of the loop, Dave Filoni is the one, the man who created the Worlds Between Worlds. He is the very guy who made this happen in Star Wars Rebels Season 4. It was an amazing experience where we have Ezra Bridger saving Ahsoka Tano from Darth Vader. And right then and there, you know, that changed history. That changed what could have happened to Ahsoka Tano. They want to do something very similar with Brie Larson's character going into the worlds between worlds that's going to change our view on the Star Wars franchise. Moving on. Now, Brie Larson's character Mae will reset certain aspects of the Star Wars history in the new Star Wars TV show that is described to have a major effect on one of the major Star Wars movies that fans may see as very controversial. Now, I for one won't have a problem if this has something to do with the sequel trilogy movies. To me, it's a problem if they are going to change a big aspect of the prequels and or the original trilogy by use of Maeve going into the worlds between worlds and changing the past. Now, not just that, but this new series will focus on a Jedi Civil War at one point in time, showing the fans two different Jedi Orders with two different views of the ways of the Jedi and the Force that creates a full-on battle in the new series. Now, a Jedi Civil War is going to be another main focus point in the series until a new foe shows up from another galaxy that is going to be inspired from a band of enemies from Star Wars Legends. These new enemies from another Star Wars galaxy are said to reunite the two sides of the Jedi during the Civil War in order to take down the new foe, and that it's all going to be up to Brie Larson's character to lead the two new Jedi Orders to become one new Jedi Order that will face this new enemy that Leslie Headland is currently writing for the new show. 
So, a Jedi Order, all right, a Jedi Civil War, uh, this does not sound good to me. I don't know about you guys, but creating a Jedi Civil War is just not right for Star Wars. I don't know about you, but to me, the Jedi should act as one from the very start. You know, there shouldn't be two Jedi Orders that are battling against each other, killing each other. To me, it just does not make sense. It seems like Leslie Headland's really trying to go out of her way to make things seem a little bit more original. Not just that, but also Brie Larson's character is also going to have tons of new powers, going from, of course, Star Wars Legends, including the power of teleportation, of going from one place to another at will. Now, this new power is said to be used for the first time in live action and taken directly from some of the old Star Wars books and comics that will be applied in the new Star Wars TV series for Disney Plus and more. The series is also going to embrace the use of Maeve being able to travel into the netherworld of the Force to learn the wisdom from the Force ghosts of the past of the ancient times. This series is set to introduce ancient Force ghosts that will communicate with Brie Larson's character in the new show to inform her on secrets of the Jedi and the Force entirely. The show is still aimed for a 2022 release on Disney+, and filming will begin next year in 2021. Alright, so here's the thing, alright? Jedi Civil War, I think, is going to be a tragedy. I think it's going to be a nightmarish decision by Leslie Headland. I don't know about you, but I just feel it's not meant for Star Wars. Now, when we look at everything else, alright? The Brie Larson character dubbed as Maeve, how she's going to have the ability to go into the world between worlds and changing aspects of the past and how it's going to have a big impact on one particular popular Star Wars movie. I'm just hoping it has nothing to do with the prequels and or the originals and I'm just crossing fingers that this more so has something to do with the sequel trilogy movies instead. You know, if we go ahead and take a look at the past with Star Wars Legends, uh, you know, they did have a thing called flow walking in there that's also going to be used in the new Star Wars TV series and new Star Wars movies to come in the near future, so looking forward to that as well. But the Worlds Between Worlds, that's a Dave Filoni creation, and the fact that Dave Filoni is not even going to have a connection to the show, it makes you wonder what kind of rules Leslie Headland is going to bend when it comes to the use of the Worlds Between Worlds and time travel. You know, we've seen the use of this in Star Wars Rebels, where Ezra Bridger saves Ahsoka Tano from Darth Vader, and how they are literally able to escape from Palpatine trying to get to them. And all these crazy things happen in this realm. It's a very interesting story. I do suggest that you guys at least go ahead and check out that clip, The Worlds Between Worlds, to really get an idea of what I'm talking about if you guys are out of the loop. Now, everything related to Brie Larson's character, Ahsoka, or not, not, not should I, Maeve, I should say, that is going to be similar to the Ahsoka scene, is what I want to point out here in the Worlds Between Worlds, of how she's going to change history and how that's going to have a major impact on a new Star, um, one of the Star Wars movies in this new Star Wars TV show. To me, I think it really is a dangerous situation of messing around with the lore of Star Wars, messing around with the history of the franchise. If we take a look at also how the character of Rey was used and how they automatically made her so powerful, they are doing that to the max in this new show, as we went over just yesterday. They plan for Bree's character to be the most powerful, and not just the most powerful, but the most intelligent Jedi that has ever lived. And her being so intelligent has to do with her use of time travel, her communication with the Force Ghosts of the past of the ancient Jedi. That's another thing, is that they're going to explore Force Ghosts that are going to actually consist of ancient Jedi. So, I'm not quite sure how a lot of fans are going to take that as well. Again, I really feel that this could very well be Batwoman 2.0 on a backlash level scale here. We'll have to wait and see in 2022 when it finally releases. That is, of course, if it even does release on Disney+. Plus. So, with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.